Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on the Dark Souls 3, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the most aesthetically pleasing armor for a female character. Um, I am going to be showing uh, all the armors that I found for Fashion Souls, uh, as well as a couple of armors that look good on male and female both. Um, I, I know this isn't probably the 100% most comprehensive list, but it's the 26th of April when I'm recording this, and... I think I've tried to do a great job uh, looking at all the armors that I found to see if they look good on female characters and all of that. Uh, the only one that I don't like, I guess, hold on, let me take this bow off so that it gets off my back, um, is the Firekeeper because her set looks really good on her. It's got like a nice little shine to it. I know I complained about this in my playthrough, but it's got a nice little shine to it. Uh, where the one that you actually pick up doesn't have as great of a shine, uh, doesn't look as good on your character. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with the armors. I'll start showing the Fashion Souls armor. Uh, we'll start out with, um, actually we'll start out from the top with the Mira's gear. Um, I tend to not wear helmets with female characters, so keep that in mind. But the Mira's gear, I actually, I like this. It doesn't look as good from the front, uh, but you play most of the time like this. And I like how the, um got that sash kind of hanging off down at the bottom. I like things that move on my character. I don't know why. Um, but I do like the I do like the mirror set. Not one of my favorites, but I did wear it for a little while and it doesn't look too bad. It, it looks worse than I thought it did after using other armors, but it's still a nice looking armor. Uh, next is the Drang set and this looks good on male or female characters, but it looks like once again I like things flapping around behind me. Uh, so it's got the cape, and it looks pretty good. Um, not one of my favorite armors, but it does look good on a male or female character. Uh, moving on to the next gear, we've got the Undead Legion, which is still tied at the top with um, the Dancer's gear uh, for the my favorite looking armors. Uh, but I love the look of this armor. Once again, we've got stuff flapping behind me, but I like how... I think this looks really good on a female character uh, because it's um, it's not like a baggy armor, it's not like a loose fitting armor that it looks like, or it's not like bulky looking. It's um, nice and tight and concise and it's like to the point of the armor and I just really like the armor set for the Undead Legion. Uh, moving on to the next armor, this armor looks good on a male or female character. It's the Fallen Knight set. I also did use this for a while. Once again, we've got stuff flopping around behind us. Um, this got replaced by the Undead Legion because they're kind of the same looking aesthetic armor. Uh, the Undead Legion is just a little bit tighter. It's a little bit, it's a little bit neater looking, I think. And uh, I like the thing that's flopping behind your the cape a little bit better on that. Um, Next, we move on to the Elvis set. The Elvis set's not a great set, but it's a pretty, it's not a bad looking set. It would look good on male or female characters. There's not really anything flopping around on this set, um, but it's got some nice, I like the um, the metal armor pieces that it does have on it. It gives them a nice little shine. Not my favorite armor. Uh, after I finish this video, it will go into storage, but it does look pretty good on both male and female characters. Um, next, moving on to the next set of armor, we've got the Outrider Knight armor. Um, I'll tell you guys where to find armors as I go. I guess the mirror, the mirror set's kind of early in the game. I don't remember where that is. Uh, don't remember where the drain. The Undead Legion, obviously, you just buy it once you beat that boss. Fallen Knight is in the swamp. Uh, don't remember where Alva is. Outrider Knight or set is from the Outrider Knight in the archives. Uh, this armor set looks good on both male and females. Um, I like the look of it. It's a nice shiny armor. It's kind of why I like the dancer set. Uh, this armor actually doesn't look any good with the dancers. This armor looks alright with the dancer's helmet. So you can also run it this way if you like this armor opposed to the dancer set. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty good armor but it's found behind a hidden wall uh, in the Grand Archives. Uh, moving on to my favorite, tied for the favorite with the Undead Legion, is the Dancer set. Uh, I've been rocking, I rocked the Dancer set immediately after I beat her and I've been using it ever since. I love the veil that comes off the back. Uh, one of my favorite looking armors. Um, 
up there with the Undead Legion. I still need to, I can't decide which one I like more, or if I miss, there could be an armor that I completely missed that I never got to see that I'll like even better. Uh, moving on, the Silver Knight armor obviously looks good. I have Black Knight, I don't have the full Silver Knight because I don't have the gauntlets, uh, but the Black Knights will work, it'll be illustrated. They're good looking, the cape kind of on the back kind of sucks, it's kind of small and it, it looks weird when you run, but it's a good looking armor, I like the look. Uh, a lot of these armors look good if your character on females, if your character is the slimmest, uh, I think it's very slim, uh, because the armor is kind of contoured in instead of kind of being a straight, they don't look as good, especially the Firekeeper set does not look anywhere near as good on a... Uh, like standard or regular slim character it looks better on a very slim character uh moving on though to the next armor we have the dragon slayers this is ornstein's armor and obviously it's one of the cooler armors um that they brought back it probably is the coolest armor uh but it looks good on males and females obviously you can see it there we'll take the helmet off it still looks pretty good without the helmet uh, so you can rock uh rock this armor without the helmet uh but it looks pretty good on male and female uh, it's one of my favorite armors. Next is the Wolf Knight armor. This looks good on males or females. Uh, there it is without the helmet. This is Artorias's armor, if you did not know. Uh, Artorias is my favorite character in all of Dark Souls. Uh, and obviously I'm doing the cosplay of him coming up. So if you want to see a cosplay playthrough with Artorias and his armor and his weapon, um, check back and I will have that uh, coming out shortly. Uh, next we have, that looks good on male or female, uh, we have Lorien's armor, this is the twin prince, the, the better twin, oops, it didn't put my pants on, there we go, uh, he's the twin prince, uh, with Lothric, uh, this is a pretty good looking armor on both male and female, um, I like it, it's nice and, it's kind of clean up top and then it's kind of messy down on the, like, for your pants, and I kind of like that it looks, it looks nice, um, it's not one of my favorite armors, but it does look pretty good. Uh, moving on, we've got the Shadow Garb. This isn't... Oops, not the Golden Bracelets. It's Shadow Gauntlets. There we go. It looks alright. Um, it, it's decent. Um, it's not, like, special or anything, but it does look pretty good on a female character. Um, it just kind of looks like a uh, regular dress. It's probably... It would be a good armor set for... A cosplay with um, Witcher characters. Uh, it it kind of resembles the armor from that game, so it's a good cosplay armor for that. And it also looks pretty good on female characters. Next is the Painted Guardian set, another flashback to Dark Souls One, uh, and it looks okay. Is that the right armor? Yeah, it is. It's a it's a good looking armor. It's nice and clean. I like how it's um, all white. It looks it looks nice. Um, it also looks kind of cool with the metal uh, leggings poking out, not leggings, metal armor leg, would they be called metal leggings? I guess metal leggings. Um, it looks pretty good with those jutting out, it gives it kind of a different aesthetic view uh, on top of the, the uh, clean white on top. Uh, moving on, we've got the clandestine coat, there's nothing really more to this except the coat. It doesn't look bad. Uh, you'd have to probably pick out some pants to go with it. Um, probably the shadow leggings would look... Yeah, the shadow leggings look pretty good. Uh, this isn't one of my favorite armors, but it does look pretty good on a female character. Uh, moving on, we've got the antiquated dress, which is a which is a dress that I actually like. I do like this armor set. Uh, there's the antiquated skirt. Uh, this is a really good female armor. Um, it's just a nice dress. Uh, it's one of the... The uh, few female-oriented only armors, I guess, that don't look at least semi-decent on a male, uh, even if they only look... This is kind of the armor of... Uh, I still want the Black Witch's armor in this game. That uh, uh, From Dark Souls 2, that dress. That dress just looked nice. I really did like that dress. But this dress isn't bad. It looks pretty good, and um, obviously it looks good on the female character. Uh, moving on, we've got the we've got the Exanthus gear. Uh, there we go. It looks pretty good on a male or female. Uh, I like how the one what is that? The game's left or right hand looks pretty good. I like how it's kind of it's got like that 
it gets got like a rocky look um but i do like this armor obviously it's got more crap hanging off in the back with the cape which i love uh but not one of my favorite armors but still a good one next is cornix's garb i guess i stopped telling you guys where to get all these armors but i don't even remember where to get most most of them uh the artoria's armor you can buy from the merchants uh in the other fire in like the different dimension fire link i guess i don't know what to call it it's like the alternate reality uh but this is cornix's gear uh you get this by killing the uh sorcerer that you find in the uh swamp before you get to um crystal sage that's where you find uh the, the sorcerer and then you can kill him whenever you want and you will get this armor it looks pretty good it reminds me a lot of the lion mage set from dark souls 2 uh it's a good looking set uh and definitely a nice lightweight armor for any for a sorcerer build obviously uh next we have the maiden robes uh these another flashback armor from dark souls 1 um Kind of the same premise as the antiquated dress that looks um, looks good on a female. It's a female's characters, and once again with the dresses, they always look better on the very slim female characters. Um, they just seem to fit and look better on them. So that's the uh, maiden set, and then finally the firekeeper set. The kind of set that I'm disappointed in, it could have been a lot better. Is that the right? Yeah, it's Firekeeper's Glove. Okay, so you look at this, it does look pretty good on female, I will say that. And the very slim, uh, it looks really good on that as well. And But look at this, standing next to the Firekeeper. Hers has the nice shine to it. And it just looks better than the gear that I'm wearing. I also want the thing that's over her face. I feel like that would look good. I wish I could get that. I don't know if I kill her, I get it, or whatever. Uh, but the Firekeeper gear, a little bit disappointing to me because it looks so good on the on the Firekeeper NPC, uh, but it doesn't look as good for um, your, your character, like the player character, I guess. Uh, but that is going to do it, guys. This was the Fashion Souls that I found throughout my first playthrough. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, let me know if there are any armors I missed, any cool armors for female or male characters. I don't know if I'll do this for male, because people tend to not care as much about fashion on their male characters as they do for female. Uh, but let me know if I missed any armors uh, that look really nice on any character. Let me know... If there's a dress in the game that I missed, because I do like the dress aesthetics, aesthetics on uh, a female character in Dark Souls, I always have. Uh, so let me know if I missed any of that stuff, as well as let me know if I, if you can get the thing on the Firekeeper's head that like, I don't know, the eye cover or whatever. I don't even know what to call it. That the it's a headband, but kind of goes over her eyes. I don't know what to call it, but that's gonna do it. Drop a like or drop a like on the video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you all in my next video. Peace out.